Welcome back to Lily Clap Story. I'm Fire Nation and this is Project Zomboid. Alrighty, thank you for joining me. So, normally I would never skip a bunch of time in the game. <clears throat> just because I like to share every moment with you guys as much as possible. However, it has been almost a month trying to heal this injury. So yeah, 3 months, 29 days, 16 hours. So we're almost to 4 months and she is still got sort of a slight limp my mobility is coming back slowly and we are a slow healer so yeah never fracture or break your ankle because it really sucks i moved my bed down here because i've been coming out here collecting the compost putting in whatever else i find um i pretty much just sat all this stuff out here i moved these shelves Got my compost stuff in there, my fishing stuff in here, my uh, tailoring stuff in here. That's all my junk drawer for my building. I got my foraging up to level 3, which I just did around the base. Like, right over here, where we had been getting wood and clearing out zombies continuously. Found a couple things, nothing too great. Um, I almost got my metal working up from collecting jewelry to level 4. The zombies have pretty much left me alone, and I've been able to collect thread and stuff from them as they come, but yeah, literally, it's only been a handful of zombies that have really shown up, and then, what else did I do? Oh, I gotta level up in cooking, because I went down where we collect wood, and I brought this barbecue over here, and I've been cooking my food like that, because we are almost out. <laughs> almost out of canned goods because man oh i've just been sitting here going crazy i built myself a little spiffo shrine it took me like six hours uh of the making of episode 40 plus the subsequent time take it took to heal here's all the stuff i found not that one foraging not much and i made uh was it a wild garlic poultice? I don't know if that helps healing. I think it's the other one that helps speed up healing. I can't remember what it's called. What is it called? It's in here somewhere. Plantain. Yeah. I made the garlic one, which I can't remember what it does. I also noticed... Where is it? Inject zombification cure. I have no idea what mod that's from, but I'll not be using that. Once you get bitten by a zombie, that's it. I moved all my medical supplies in here. I dismantled a bunch of stuff in here that I don't really need. And I took apart all the electronics that I could find in this area. So we've almost got electrical... Well, we're about one and a half. So basically, I'm going to continue to heal. And once we're good, then I w we can resume when the action starts. I have no idea how long this is going to take me. I've been forced to continually go outside and speed up time because i have nothing else to do and i'm not going out there to fight so i just sit in my chair and uh i'll reconvene with you guys when we're good oh and also um i'm just making up some food real quick here in my uh cooking pot got a nice stew going beans canned soup a uh, bunch of condiments plus some garlic so let's turn this on this one you have to click and I found an interesting annotated map that's actually for Louisville. So let's go ahead and read that. So it's got the hospital marked, storage units marked, unlooted store full of zombies though. In relation to us, I believe we're, yeah, we're right here. Around here. Um, this doesn't quite show all of the map. We're actually, no, we're more this way, right? So let's put that away and go to our regular map. Yeah, we're more this way. So the hospital would be here. Storage units. So that's actually a good clue. And then there's a store up here. So let's go back to this and take a look at it. Storage units. They're the three small black bars right here. 
So that's actually very helpful. And we've been making our way up there. So let's add a note, not edit, add. Hopefully our stew isn't burning. All right, and we'll get out of both of those. So now we have confirmation on some for sure storage units, thanks to an annotated map I found just off a random zombie or perhaps one I threw on the ground. I can't remember. Let me turn this off. There we go. And we got a nice 117 nice food stew. I'm just going to drink a fourth of that. All right. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I will see you when we're good to go. Alrighty, so an update. I removed the splint to see if maybe my foot was healed. I put it back on, and then my mobility went back to this. So it's now been almost four days since our last update, and my wounds seemingly reset. I don't know what's going on, but this is basically what I'm forced to do. I've burned through all my thread. I have no electronics to take apart. My food is dwindling fast. This is the last of my canned goods that I managed to rustle up. Good thing we have a lot of dried beans and stuff like that to uh, get us through. It's ridiculous, man. All right, I'll be back whenever this gets better. Okay, so you probably can't hear it. Maybe you can hear the rustling, but... There was a gunshot last night, and it seems like some zombies have came to the area. Our mobility is still crap. I can fight a few of them at a time like this, mainly because my skill's so high. I should really heat those beans up before eating them so I don't get unhappiness. I've got bowls. I can make bowls of beans, too. Let's get some water. So I do move a slight bit faster. When readied up. So normally when the zombies come by, what I do is go up here. It's a painfully slow process. Go up here, check out where they're at. Because I don't want like five of them being in front of one door. And I open it to get ambushed. So that looks good. Be careful not to fall off. I think they're over that way. So we'll go out that door, go around the side and deal with them. I don't know what I'm going to do for a video if this thing resets to having to heal for a month again. Oh my god. I am never taking that splint off. Ever. Again. There's a zombie over here. I can hear it. A lot of the times they go up to this window. Yeah, there's three. Okay. And I can't stealth like this either. So normally, yeah, what I do is I just try and grab one. Kite him back. A good bit. Take him out. If you ever get a fracture on your foot, put the splint on and do not touch it. Do not ever touch it. Come on. There we go. There we go. Make sure nothing's over there. Drag him back. All right. And two, I'm not really worried about because I can stagger two easily. It's a good thing I have level 10 short blunt. Just for times like this. And voila, that gets me some more thread. There's another one down here. And also, I think there might be a few over that way. Yeah, I'm sure that the population in the world has changed drastically in the month and a half. Which is going to be how long it takes me to heal this stupid wound. Uh, from the zombies migrating. At first, like the first few days, I was going out, foraging, collecting stuff, trying to make use of my time to the best of my ability with this. But eventually, I just got to the point where I'd rather not risk it, rather not go out. Let me just sit and speed up time. It looks like I didn't barricade the outsides of these windows. That's not very good. Well, at least I know now. I could have swore I heard a zombie over here. Is that a hole? Or is that a glitch in the texture? Also, I figured out if you play a game with uh, true actions on, that's just a glitch in the texture, and then you remove true actions, it uh, allows you to walk through walls. Yeah, believe it or not. 
I, at first I was like, what the heck's going on? And you're probably like, why would you remove true actions? Because I was continually getting stuck on the tile next to my bed when I tried to go to the bed and lie down. And I would completely lose control of my character, have to exit the game, come back in, and sometimes it would reset and I'd be able to move, and sometimes it wouldn't. So it became a huge pain in the butt. <clears throat> I don't know if that's just because of the bed's positioning, but that led up to me moving these shelves because I thought maybe those shelves were the reason. No, it was just glitchy, so I resubscribed to uh, the True Actions mod. Just gonna lay down for a bit and it fixed the issue so yeah this is basically my life <laughs> and then going around here collecting food cooking it in the uh the barbecue and this is how i've been managing to get good sleep i can't stay inside though because the boredom will turn into unhappiness and that eventually will get uh lily really pissed off so i'm glad i have this little wall out here to sit Speed up time and drop the boredom off. There's just like nothing I can do. <laughs> All right, I'll reconvene with you guys hopefully soon. All right, so another update. It is now 10 days, oh, almost 11. We've gained a slight amount of mobility back. I'm going to eat the rest of my stew and try and go out and do some foraging. See if I can't find some plantain to get the poultice to speed up the healing. Because this really sucks. I was almost good. I was almost good. And then I had to touch it. Yeah, we're a little bit better. Do we move? Yeah, we still move faster like that. So let me back up from this a little bit. Just in case. We can at least take the vehicle over there. Well, yeah. That'll be fine. That's where I've been doing my forging is on the other side of the wall there. I really didn't want to make a video of me mucking around with the fractured foot but if it's gonna take me two freaking months to heal this thing which is ridiculous then I have no other choice I can't spend eight hours making one video <laughs> not anymore I've got stuff to do all right so we got one zombie and I think this is far enough Oh, by the way, there have been gunshots every single day since the start of this process. Normally, it seems like they're pretty random. They don't come as often as I, I would think. But when you get hurt, this game actively tries to kill you. It does. And anytime you're speeding up time, it actively tries to kill you. It has also been getting cold. Nice, I got two thread off of that and some sheets. It's been getting cold, so I swapped out some of my gear. I think I might have mentioned this. I put on the Trackstar tactical boots. They've got more insulation, and I switched out uh, that one half jacket for a leather jacket. It's got more insulation. So let's try and do some foraging. What I normally do is just start on one side, go up, come back down like two or three tiles further and that's how I find most of the stuff there's gonna be a lot of these twigs from cutting down trees and other crap that I haven't disposed of yet there's some more twigs up here yeah it doesn't give you XP for that not unless you find it which is okay. Alright, so now we're gonna... I'm, I'm not gonna go too far up that way, because I don't want to get in trouble. We'll move a couple tiles, and then we'll go down this row. I have no idea how often foraging stuff can reset. Oh, there's a pine cone. wonder if you can plant that. Yeah, I have no idea how often foraging stuff resets, or whether it respawns at all, but... I'm hoping that I can find some plantain. I found lemongrass... I found garlic. I found, um, I can't remember the other thing that I found. It's in the shelves. Found some violets. Even some carrot seeds. I found a wild carrot and I ate it. Because <laughs> I'm a wild gal. All right. Please. Please. Yeah, I'm never taking this splint off again. Never. Nope. Not going to happen. And I don't think there's anything else I can do to help it heal faster like a, a deep wound you can sew up i think i just have to stick it out 
And I was doing all this walking and stuff before too as well when I was healing up. Uh, the wiki says it takes about a month to heal up and then with slow healer it can take anywhere up to two months. Though I was kind of hoping to avoid that. I miss the old foraging system, especially now. I miss just being able to to chill in a spot. What is this? Ginseng. Well, get me some sang, boy. Wild ginseng. Restore endurance. Oh, okay, nice. Nice. You guys ever watch that show, the, what is it, Kentucky Outlaws, where they go out and hunt ginseng in the wild? It's a good show. Well, give me that sang, boy. Oh, 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 oh. What do we got here? The hell is that? A dog chew toy? Well, that's sad. But I got a lot of XP from it. Yeah, I haven't really been out this far, so we might find some more stuff out here. But also, there's the threat of more zombies. If I get into a situation where there's like four or five of them, I don't know. That's going to be pretty hard. Yeah, I've been picking up all this crap just to get rid of it. There's nothing in there anyways. I'm definitely taking a gamble being out here. But if I could potentially find just more twigs, if I could potentially find that plantain, then that would really help us out. And I'm sick of sitting around the base. I absolutely hate that. I hate just passing time in a game. Whoop. Yep, we're going back this way. I can't stealth like this, so it's about all I can do. Come on, game. Come on. Give me some plantain. I don't want to go too far down that way either. Yes, yes, a bunch of twigs. Come on. At least give me one more thing. Nothing. All right. I'm heading back to the vehicle and going back to base. Managed to kill a little bit of time. It really sucks. This this really sucks. Uh, all right, I'll reconvene with you guys another time. Be right back. All right. <clears throat> time for another update. <laughs> Four months, 12 days, almost 13. It has snowed. There's a little bit. There was more. It just disappeared, which is weird. But yeah, I've now seen the snow. It's too bad I can't go outside and make a snowman because we are still limping around. Yeah. <laughs> I love this Project Zomboy. Yeah. My wound was pretty much healed. I took it off to check, and now I can't do anything because it's reset. How else are you supposed to tell if your your wound is okay? Overall body status, okay. Right! <laughs> just, yeah! That's real cool, man. Real cool. I'm annoyed. I've got other things to do than sit here and babysit this this fracture. I would have loved to have make, made a couple more videos tonight. Gone out and do something uh, productive. Like laundry... Or more laundry. I've already got my work stuff done. So yeah, this is basically my my process. And the daily gunshots usually bring in a zombie or two. Deal with them. Come back in. Wait till I'm, I'm really tired from the alcohol. It's a good thing we went out there and got all of that alcohol. Because that's really been able to sustain me plus my food. My pine cones keep me company throughout the night. Three more beers, 12 more wine, 10 more white wine. Some of these I've already cracked open and broken into. Um, if it gets real desperate on the food situation, I can go back into our area where we used to be sitting. Or uh, hanging out. And uh, go through some of the houses over there since it's not going to be as dangerous. And collect some food. Good news is we'll have plenty of empty bottles for uh, Molotovs, so that's good. I went through all my shelves. This is pretty much what I've got left. Go ahead and open this. Oh, and I got a level up in cooking, so we're now cooking level two, which means if I have the cooking two book, I can read it, which would be nice. At least give me something to do. I add that in. I don't know if I can add beans, but I'm going to try it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Add some carrots. We'll just open all of that. I've still got a bunch of dried 
chickpeas, lentils, and black beans all over the place. I really should collect it all in the one spot so I don't have to go wandering. There were a lot more tin cans out here, by the way. I've already, I've already taken them to the garbage bin and disposed of them because no more would fit on the tile. <laughs> so yeah, that's how long I've been out here. Just sitting on my porch, making soups, smoking cigarettes, and drinking beer. The American dream. Uh, we'll put another canned corn in there. Why not? And then we'll go over to our condiment shelf. This is the Cooking with Lily Clap show. Sure, I can put some beer in there too. Although the beer... Oh, there's a couple more canned goods in here. Alright, well, I'm not too worried then. Not too worried then. I thought I had already checked all of these shelves on this side, so... I haven't really gone through them. And... 99. That's pretty good. That'll last me a good three days. Sipping on the same pot of soup for three days. And whenever I use the walk to command, she always does that. There's an open door right here, you baboon. Go to it. Alright, put this in here. Then you turn the barbecue on. And then you wait. <laughs> like this, and speed up time. If only you could speed up cooking in real life. <laughs> and, oh, oh, oh. and then you turn the barbecue off. And this has been Cooking with Lily Clap. See you again next time. All right. <laughs> Welcome back. Today's show is going to be arts and crafts and making compost. So I'll teach you how to make... Oh, there's butter in here. Um, I've disassembled everything that I can disassemble down here. Uh, I collected more thread with the meager amount of zombies that came back up. Oh, there's lard too. I can eat that. I do um, can we open this? No, don't have to open it. More lard. Good. Put all this in here. I think we got... Ooh, even more. I think we got all the uh, sacks out of the back room. So I'm kind of running low on those. I'm wondering if I can go up and fertilize the farms and they'll just stay like that. And more butter and margarine. Nice. I have not gone back up to the roof since <laughs> this unfortunate business has happened. I'm shell-shocked. Hey, there's more snow out here. Everything's frosty. Hey. hey. And it's snowing. Nice. I... Some loud thunder. Would have loved to go out and experience this and... Do some stuff in it and everything. Oh, also, our fire and rescue truck is now permanently stuck over in its grave because I love tapped a tree very very slowly and it just won't go it won't go anymore all right screw it we'll just do them all there we go and drop drop there we go where's the other ones ah there we go there we are. And now we go into here. Favorite arcana of Chuna. Where's the favorite? And then what you want to do is go back and transfer all. And that's how you make compost, kids. And then you get worms, which you can eat, or you can use them for fishing. But seeing as how the river area is way over yonder we have not cleared any zombies going towards that. I'm not going to be going anywhere near it in this condition. Um, Alright. So now we're going to do tailoring with Lily Clap. You're going to want to grab your thread. Your material. And something to practice on. It just so happens we have coveralls. Cool. And what's our skill at? We're about a quarter of the way into tailoring one, two, three, four, five, six, which is nice because I do believe I have the next tailoring book. All right. So then what you do is you inspect it and then you right click and you use rip sheets. And, <laughs> and then what you do is you remove them and then you add more. 
And this is how you work on your arts and crafts skill, boys and girls. And this has been tailoring with Lily Clap because I'm almost out of thread, I guess. Pretty soon. I actually, I might have more in my backpack. Will this be enough to get me to six, I wonder? Hold on. Uh, probably not. Probably not. But it's a good way to pass the time. And get my skills up. So, I mean, seeing as how I have nothing else to do. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. I like to keep the little bit on me just in case I uh, get a deep wound. There we go. And we'll have some uh, stew to top it off. This is going to be a whole video of this. I'm sorry. I really am. I, there's nothing else I can do. It reset the timer. Our mobility has not come back. And the game hates me. It's a good thing we stocked up on food, other supplies, and it's a really good thing that I got that sink built in the time that I did because uh, the ability to have water. Oh, it's going to freeze soon, isn't it? So, <laughs> yeah. What I might do right now. Hold on. We're not done yet. Call, call now and there's more. Or how does it go? Call now and we'll double your offer. I need to find all my bottles. Pronto. Preferably the plastic ones, but I'll use the glass ones if I need. Uh, because those water barrels do freeze over, I'm pretty sure. There's three. Hey, and some more canned goods. Get that too, and some flour. Uh, that's where my cooking pot went. I was searching all over for that thing, and I went and got one from... Uh, ooh, foraging four, mechanics four. Yeah, there's the tailoring four book. I went and got one from over here in these containers. Annex three, another forging four. Toss that on the ground because I don't need it. I can use that saucepan to make the rice. Ooh, even more canned goods. I'm really lucky. Yeah, I've still got a bunch of these dried beans. I've already broken into some of these. So they're not full. Couple more condiments. Alright, I know I have more plastic bottles than that. I still really haven't tapped into all the other wa uh, water resources in this place. Like the sinks and the toilets and stuff. But I have drained the water cooler up top. That is empty. Beer bottle. I'll take those with me and put them by my bed. For my nightly ritual. Ah, oh, boy. There's honestly nothing else I can do. I'm just trying to pass time. Get her healed up because... Ooh, and another sack. I, am, I refuse to go out. And potentially die. I am way too stubborn for that. Didn't I find any other forageables? No. Yeah, this is all my forageables. Jinxing we found, violets, and I found nettles. Can't really do anything with that. There's a bottle. Oh, water water bottles in here. Nice. Take that. And these two. I'm going to fill up all the bottles and just store them by my bed. There's some more condiments. I also want to see if there's any more electronics that I missed in here. Yeah, there's just random... Uh, electronic scrap heaps in some of these shelves from me taking everything apart that I can get my hands on. <laughs> oh, this sucks, man. This sucks. We got some more stuff over here. Eat those crackers. Buttons. Don't really need that. Okay. Another scrap heap. Some more water bottles. Yeah, as you can see, I've already gone through and drank most of the soda. Bowls and mugs, more farming stuff. I guess I could go up to the roof and do farming. I mean, at least get a farm started, though they'll probably freeze. It's already too late in the season for that. More popcorn. Don't really need that. I know, this is... Hey, there's another cooking pot. Nice. This is captivating content. Ooh! Yeah, I haven't taken apart these lamps yet. Just because I might place them somewhere as decorations. 
or is like a, a light for my bedroom, more rope in there. I can't even really go out and collect logs. It's too dangerous. Some more beans and stuff over there. Another lamp, coffee. Come on, where are all the bottles? I know I had more. All right, well, I think we've found all that we're gonna find. Roasting pan. That's good, tomato paste, another cooking pot. Could f grab all those and fill them up with water as well, but I think we'll be all right with what we got. Hopefully these aren't frozen yet. I don't think they will be. All right, drop those. Didn't quite fill them all up. Yeah, that should last us quite a while. Okay, well, I'm gonna get back to my routine and I'll reconvene with you guys again. All right, so it is now the morning of the 17th day. The gunshots and screams have ramped up significantly. They're now like twice a day. Our mobility, I, it feels like it's slightly better, slightly. Um, I got all my empty glass bottles, filled them up, made another stew. Um, I pretty much have just been doing this. Like this is my routine and it is the single most boring thing in the world. I'll take that empty bottle garbage bags like I can't even really sort loot out because I don't want to make this fracture worse by carrying like heavy stuff and that that and it just takes forever to get anywhere on my Lamberfides it's ridiculous so yeah this is just my daily ritual I come out here smoke a cigarette if I get hungry enough I eat some stew let's eat another fourth of that Luckily, I've been able to keep my weight up. I am praying that there's not a alcoholic trait in the uh, dynamic traits that you can get. Because that would not be good. Somebody in the comments told me they started with an alcoholic. They couldn't find any alcohol to drink and stave off uh, the withdrawal effects. And their character got sick and died. He wasn't sure if it or she. They weren't sure if it was uh, from the alcoholic part. But I do know the only two things that can kill you in real life from withdrawal symptoms are alcohol and benzodiazepines. So um, if you're on either one of those, just be careful. Uh, it, it's crazy how realistic they go with this game. All right. I'm just going to grab a few beers. Drink that one up. Drink this one up since they're almost gone. That should have been about two fourths. Come back over here, fill them up. I want to get as many bottles as I can filled. Uh, even though I haven't seen winter, I do know just from reading random stuff and posts that those water barrels do freeze over. And I don't think you can melt snow in the game yet. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't had enough experience with it. Then I go over to the bed and I wait till my tiredness moodle gets up. There we go. And I smoke so he doesn't or she doesn't wake up and then I sleep it's not much else to do I, I don't want to risk going out uh, some of you also mentioned that you don't risk going out during the storm same thing applies here I do not want to lose Lily clap she is fastly approaching the time of becoming my longest ever survivor now Passing time like this is kind of cheating, in my opinion, but I am injured. So, would I normally do this in a game just to get my months racked up? Be like, oh, I survived this long? No, absolutely not. Especially not on YouTube for you guys. <sighs> the only time I might do that is if I just want to see, like, the winter time and see how far I can go and try to survive in a later date but at the same time why not just do a six months later run or a 10 years later run there's no point into passing time like this i'm not exercising be again because i'm afraid of making this wound worse i'm really uh salty that i took that splint off and it got worse so that is something that, if you didn't know, don't do it. I didn't know, and I'm suffering the consequences of it. I know this chili could be better utilized as a uh, stew, 
I didn't make a stew this day. I should have, but I was too busy rambling on. There we go. Lie down. Drink our beer. And I, d I really don't know if it's more beneficial to just stay in bed, but I don't have enough sleeping tablets to do that. And I'm trying to ration my alcohol out because of both the food value and the sleeping value. All right, put those on the ground. And go back to bed. Let's lie down. Yeah, this is just basically my routine. And I know this video is going to be a whole lot of nothing. Me just dinking around the base, but... Uh, I figured you guys might want to see some of it. You know my videos aren't normally like this. Alright, let's sleep. I wish I could at least exercise or do something or level some skill. I've already foraged all the way throughout the parking lot of the Gigamart. There's nothing else for me to find out there. I don't know if things respawn. I would love to do anything besides this. Anything. Ah. Uh, let's make... A stew, yeah. I'm gonna use up these canned beans first. Then these canned carrots. And then we'll... Oops, I need to go to you. Uh, beans. And then we'll add some of those chickpeas and stuff. Alright, cool. Tin cans. You bet I couldn't make nails out of the tin cans. I'd be doing that. Yeah, I disassembled all this stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to find stuff to do, but there's just nothing. There's nothing for me. I don't have a propane torch. If I did, everything that's metal in this base would have been gone already. Promise you that. Which m might be better that I don't have a propane torch because I use that propane tank for cooking. Alright. That is a hefty stew right there. Nice. Nice, Gary. Nice. Alright, cooking show starts again. Welcome to Cooking with Lily Clap. Today, we're going to be cooking beans and canned carrot stew with tomato paste and a whole bunch of other crap. <laughs> I suppose I could set up some traps. That's something I could do. I do have planks now. Hmm. Alright, well, let's fire up this real quick. Then we'll take a look at the crafting menu. Go to Trapper, Cage Trap, and Box Trap. Takes Trapping Level 2. Takes Trapping Level 3. How are you supposed to... <laughs> I guess there's the magazine out there for, like, the snare trap and the stick trap. Which I don't have. Unfortunately, so I can't really do that. No. So. Man, I wish it at least showed you in that menu. Let's check on our stew here. No. What I can do is go to the training materials and recipes and go to the trapper section. Oh, it doesn't tell me. Yeah. We've only had... We've only gotten volume three. The so one and two are still out there somewhere. Still a bunch of medical magazines that we haven't read. One medical working magazine. Gorilla Radio 5, First Blood by John Rambo. Antique Collectors. Other than that, we've pretty much got them all. Yeah. There's so much more stuff that I would have loved to be doing at this point in the game. But... Stupid is it's stupid does and falling off that roof, that was pretty stupid. Never again. Never again. Rambling on about the narwhals. Fell off the dang roof. Well, there's nothing to do now except sit on the porch and eat some stew, drink some beer, and smoke some cigarettes. The American dream. Is there going to be a gunshot today? It usually happens around 2 to 6 p.m. Either a gunshot or a scream. So let's see. I haven't been speeding up time as much today. Time for our daily cigarette. Check. <laughs> uh, this would be something to stream. However, when I'm doing 
runs like this for YouTube, no gunshot. Wow. Uh, I don't dip into the streaming on that run. Primarily because I want it to be all in the same playlist. All right. Well, let's lie down. Get a little tipsy. Uh, or too full to drink. Oh, still too full. Speed it up a little bit. There we go. This is another reason why I don't like true actions. It, it won't let you do things sometimes while you're in the bed. And other times it will. I'm not sure what that's about. And the whole getting stuck on the bed thing, that was stupid. It's a very easy way to get yourself killed. Alright, we got one more empty bottle. So let's bring it over to the sink. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, good, good. I thought they were frozen. I must just not been able to click on this, this tile. Lie down. Oh, I don't investigate the area. Lie down. What is this? Urban area. Discoveries possible in this region. Others common. Animals common. Food normal. Stones, firewood, mushrooms, berries. Rare and extremely rare. I almost never use that menu. I probably should. The only time I, I really do use that menu is for trapping. Because you want it to be in uh, the wilderness. Alright. Let's sleep. Go on to day 20. This game, man. This game hates me. It's my favorite game by far. I absolutely love it to death, but there are some things that need to be worked on. I'm still gimping around, man. I don't want to take... I might be okay. I don't know. I don't want to take this thing off. I'm hesitant to try because of what happened before. And also, um, my injury got better. With the splint on, I almost had all my mobility back. Four months, 20 days, almost 21 days. It's like when you have a laceration, you don't want to take the, the bandage off unless you know it's gone. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's check on the compost bin. That might take some time. All right, well, I think this is enough of the same thing over and over okay everybody side note we are healed up now thank the lord i might have overdone passing the time i didn't know i wanted to be for sure four months 25 days 15 hours i was starting to get suspicious of this splint being on the last time i removed it i still had a fracture but it would eventually get better like my limp would get better and less noticeable however this time it was not so uh i pretty much did the same thing as in the video just mucked around doing some stuff now um i'm gonna leave this cooking pot full of water in here and at least for the next video we'll be prepared to go out and get some food which we really need there's still food in this store down here there's still food in a lot of these houses and a lot of these houses because i really haven't looted it all i'm so glad that lily has healed up now because that was painstaking doing the same thing day in day out it was killing me all right that's just to our back i'm gonna record one more so that i don't have to do it after work now that she's healed I am good to go. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you find yourself enjoying the content, leave a like and consider subscribing. If you want some more action packed videos, go back to the start of this series. Right now, it's Lily Claps, time to shine, her time in the spotlight. We're in a rough patch. We're struggling to survive, but we're going to keep on trucking. 5,912 zombies dispatched via weapon, 1,434 via fire, and 22 dirt via car <laughs> four months almost 21 days have a good day out there all you beautiful people i will see you in the next one i'll try and get her healed up before then because this is just the worst content ever <laughs>
I'm sorry. <laughs>